Hi friends, welcome to another video of Quick Tech Talk. Today's video, I will try to demonstrate how to download and install latest version of Oracle Java JDK on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started. The first step is to check if any old version of Java is already installed on your system or not. To check this, click on the nine dots over here and search for terminal. Click on the terminal icon. Once your terminal is open, just type java hyphen hyphen version. If it gives you a java version in the output, then java is already installed. If it gives you the output like mine, then java is not installed. Ubuntu is trying to suggest some java installation command which is basically open jdk version. If you want to install any of the open JDK version, feel free to use these commands. Since we are trying to install Oracle Java JDK, for that we need to download it. So open your favorite browser and search for download Oracle Java. Click on the very first link or you can directly go to Oracle website by the link in the video description. As you can see, the latest version of Java is 15.0.2. So, I will download this version and install it. So, click on the JDK download link, scroll down, and you will see Linux 64 Debian package. We will download this package. So, click on the download link over here. Select the checkbox and click on the download JDK 15.0.2. It may take some time to download the file. Okay, my download is completed. So, let me minimize the browser and go back to my terminal. I will go to my download directory where my package is downloaded. So, cd downloads and then ls to see my file. This is my Java package. To install it, I will write sudo dpkg i and the package name. It is now asking for the password. I will enter my password. Wait for the installation to finish. Once the installation is complete, we need to fire two more commands. These commands can be found in the video description. The first command is to set the alternate to Java, while the other is to set the Java C. So our installation is complete. Now I will give Java hyphen version command to check the Java version. As you can see, Java 15.0.2 is installed in our Ubuntu operating system. I will add Java Home in our profile so that it is available for other program to use. sudo gedit slash etc slash profile. Okay, this is my etc profile. At the end of the file, I will type java underscore home all in caps and then put the java folder path till the version. Save the file and close the editor. Now, to make this variable effective, we need to source the file. So, the command to source the file is source slash etc slash profile. Now, let's check if the source has actually worked. So, just type echo dollar java underscore home. And you can see the value of the environment variable. Now, Let's write a small piece of Java code and see if everything is working fine. So, I will go to my text editor and click on the plus icon over here to open a new tab. Now, I will write a simple hello world Java program over here. My code is complete. 
click on the save button, I will go to downloads folder and will give the name as test.java which is same as my class name. Now click on the save and go back to terminal. Just do a ls to see my java file. Now I will compile this java code using java c. So java c test.java. Looks like I have missed the semicolon at the end of print statement. Let me fix it. Again compile it. Okay, now my code is compiled successfully. So let's execute it. Java and the class name which is test. Hit the enter and this is the output. So my Java is installed properly. So friends, in today's video, we have learned how to download and install Java on our Ubuntu operating system. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.